So guys, welcome back to another travel vlog. I am in a new train station. This is line 10. The station is called Rosafa. We have a new metro station. Okay. So um, Alacant is the first stop. I'm like one stop away, but I'm going to go to Nazaret. You know, it's not the Nazaret where Jesus was born. It's the, the Nazaret of Valencia in Spain. Okay. So look at it. It's just amazing. It's just like... So fresh and clean. So we're gonna go, we're gonna see um, what the journey is like and then yeah hopefully I can get some breakfast at the end. I think it's like 1.30 now. I haven't even had breakfast, I've had a cup of coffee. So yes, the uh, Valencian government, Generalitat Valenciana, and I'm going to touch my card. Okay. So we've got the matrix here, how you zoom? 159. Okay. Just came Let's down go. the escalators, so fresh and so bling and clean, and you can see the blue sky, and you can see the palm trees. You know what I mean, Rosafa Station. Okay. Why did you move to Spain? Oh, do you want to go back to England? Oh, blah 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 blah. Go by. Hello, <laughs> Spain. <laughs> so I need to go down the escalator to go to the other direction. How you doing? I need to put my face mask on. Oh my god. It smells new, it's just like shiny and clean. There's lots of ventilation, oh my god. This is amazing. We're gonna look at the, um, the line to see what stations are available. So the way that this train goes, literally there were only buses and it was like really long, long roads and it just took forever to get to places of interest. You know, like the city of arts and sciences, you could only get a bus there. So that's the first station. I'm here now, okay? There's that place there, that place. There's nothing really here. It's just um, like residential places. So this is like where the futuristic buildings are, the, the city of arts and sciences. And then this is the oceanographic there, the, the aquarium. And then that's just like a little place in the middle. And then that's Nazaret, okay? So yeah. <sighs> Yeah, I was actually going to go, like, south, like, really, really far to, like, Villa Nueva de Castillo, but I just changed my mind. I was like, let me just try this new line, how you Zama. So, um, actually, the first train is stopping early. That's, like, one of the stops on the line. So, Nazaret is the final one, so I'm going to have to wait 12 minutes. Okay, I think they said on the 12th, there is a, um... On the 12th, there is a special, um, like, festival timetable. So, obviously, it's going to be reduced service. What day is it? today, the 12th. What? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at the art here as well. You know what I mean? How you doing, man? I think a train's coming now. Let's have a little watch. Oh, it's nice and red and shiny and clean. Oh, it's very short though. So basically it's a, it's, it's a tram, but the trams are connected to the um, the tube, you know, as we say in England, or the uh, the metro. It's like a shuttle, isn't it? It reminds me of the Docklands Light Railway in London as well. Very similar. Yeah. Okay, the train's here. Oh my god, it's like so small. Oh my god, there's no seats available. Okay, now we're above ground. Oh my god. So far the journey is nice, um, you don't spend too long underground and then I can already see like the city of arts and sciences in front of me, so 
so it's a very very quick journey okay I'm surprised there's only like I think there's only like two carriages so I don't know maybe they just presume not a lot of people would use this line but yeah and now it's the siesta time so it's not it's not actually peak time so I don't know what it's like during peak hours if people are like struggling to get on but yeah you still have to wear face masks on public transport so yeah how you doing okay so now we're at the um the city and arts and sciences stop and um you can see there's a t i filmed inside that bit before that is like the raised um what do you call it garden Oh, and they have a lot of um, security on the underground trains. So, yeah, it's good, you know, for the safety, but they do enforce other little rules, like, you know, the face masks. So, yeah. This stop is called Moreres and uh, what I noticed about here is that there are a lot of I don't know if you can see but there are a lot of like new skyscrapers around doing a lot of construction and um, kind of makes sense that they made a new line past here because obviously the area is being highly developed and um, as it's really close to the city of arts and sciences as well it's probably going to be a very expensive area if it isn't already so so we've arrived to the last station Nazaret okay so a nice new station here so we're gonna have a little look around um, I have actually been here before, but not to this specific part of Nazareth. I was, I was like really far away over there and there was like nothing around. I was just like, this area? But um, I think I'm presuming that this stop is like right in the center, the heart of the area. So we're going to have a little look around. Yeah. Okay. So very, very exciting. a paparazzi <laughs> okay what's down there a little cafe there so I just saw a sign here and the sign said um, Mercado de Nazaret and uh, multi sport center okay So here we go. Let's have a little look around. How you doing? Man? I had to let my hair down today because I haven't I haven't had my hair down in a while because you know working at the plantation it's very dangerous to have your hair down because you could get caught in like wood and everything and lifting BS. So how you doing? So you know Natsurit is considered um, a poor area and the stereotypes that normally go with that. Um, 
you know, we have to be the judge to see if those stereotypes live up to what they are. But, um, you know, I like to go to random places, expensive, poor, impoverished, neglected, you know, at least finally, Nazareth, uh, they've been given a bounty, you know, a gift of, of more connectivity to the rest of the city, thanks to Line 10. So we can at least thank the government for, you know, finally making a, a metro station in this area. Because damn well sure that they needed it. Because it's very hard to get here if you don't drive or if you don't catch the bus. It's very difficult to get here. It's like separated from like motorways and, you know, it's just crazy. So here we go. Muy bien. Gracias. Okay, this kebab is huge, oh my god. There's a couple of black kids as well in this area, so very multicultural here. Yes, yeah, so I just saw this mural. It looks amazing, oh my god. You know, and the irony is, well, that's, I guess that used to be, the, they used to call it like a trolley bus back in the day, you know, a good few decades ago. And now they've brought the, uh, the tram here. So it's like history repeating itself. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because obviously there's like an old, that's like an old fashioned camera that the guy's holding in the green. Yeah. Well, the kebab. The kebab was a really good portion, okay? It was a really large size. Um, the fries, unfortunately, like some of them were refried. And um, it's, not, it's not actually as cheap as I thought it would be. <laughs> so I paid like 7 50 I think, for the, trip, the chips and the drink and the kebab. But anyway, it's fine. So yeah, I'm gonna look around a little bit more. It's literally dead, there's hardly anyone out because it's siesta time. I always mention in the videos, it's siesta time, it's siesta time, it's siesta time. So that means for a few hours in the afternoon, everyone just goes home and eats. So that's why it's always dead in my videos, because I'm always recording during siesta, Spanish siesta. So yeah, there's no one around because it's the Spanish siesta. Okay. Oh, it looks like some event happened there. Yeah. So yeah, um, I think I'm going to go somewhere else after because it, it took no time to get here and it's a really small place so it's like there's, there's not much to see so I just need to like go and uh, I just need to go and <laughs> continue the journey in another area. How you doing? Okay, so this is the local church here. Okay, and they've got the bikes here, the city bikes that you can rent. And then it's a nice little relaxing area. Yeah, I went to cross the road. So yeah, nice little church here. They said that the um, the Nazareth uh, Central Market is here, so it must be here somewhere. <laughs> this is the church, anyway. Yeah, so that's basically it, really. This is Nazareth. Um, it's just very relaxing um, as well here. Um, it's just like a little cafe over there, kids playing football. Yeah, like... What is going on? The local kids on the block, you know, playing their reggaeton. I don't know if you caught that, I tried to sneak a little video. 
you know what I mean? So that's the end of this one. I'm gonna go to another place and see what we can find, okay? So yeah, stay tuned. So guys, now we're at the um, other end of the station, uh, of, the, of the line, sorry. Um, and we are at a station called Alacant. So we've got Nazaret is the end of the line and Alacant is the other end of the line. So yeah, this looks really simple. There isn't any like station assistance. I'm going through the wheelchair access because you know I'm a king and I need as much space as possible. How you doing, man? So they got the machines, but they don't have like um, an office. So let's take the escalator. It's got that nice clean smell. I don't think I've ever been in like a new metro station before, so yeah. These new smells, darling, smell of vision, you know. View it clear as DVD on digital TV screen, TV screen. Oh, it's very hot. So here we go, this is the exit for Alacant, okay. And there we are, we are outside. This is the Valencia, um, Nord station, this is the Valencia North. Okay. Amazing. Got some nice balconies here, Hayudzawa. I should have put on some, um, some, what was it? Sun cream, because I'm going to get burnt. So yeah, um, that's the end. So hopefully you enjoyed that little new tube line, as we say in London, a new metro line in Valencia City. Very, very short journey. It's a very, very short line. Um, well air conditioned, clean, do you know what I mean? So yeah, very good, very good. Well done Valencia. So I'm just walking down downtown. Um, and I'm going to a station called um, Angel Guimera. And I'm considering getting the troop to somewhere called um, Villa Nueva de Castellón. I'm in two minds about it if I'm gonna go there. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show that the buses and there was a nice kind of like a floral wall behind me, which I thought some people might like. Um, so there we go, nice color there, so yeah. I just let my hair down again because um, when I was eating the kebab, um, my hair was almost going into the um, the barbecue sauce. So now I'm outside. And um, what I used to love as well, before when I used to use loads of um, Jamaican black castor oil in my hair, um, I would walk in the sun and my hair would just go like really slicked and like like swing because obviously like the sun would melt the oil and then the, the oil would like weigh the hair down and it'd be like shiny and like wavy. Not, it'd be shiny and swinging. How you doing? Like? So yeah, um, yeah, became the cyclist. So I don't, I did put some coconut oil in my hair underneath um, the shea moisture that I use, but still, it's not like heavily, heavily oiled like I usually do. I normally do heavy oiling, you know, every couple of months or something. So yeah. So anyway, let's see where I end up going. You know me. You know what I mean. Let's see where we end up. So we've got a nice church here. Plaza de San Agustin. Okay, it's not safe to cross the road, yeah? Yeah. It's a little bit cooler now. When I first got the train, um, it was like really, really hot. Now it's hot, but it's not that hot, so... Bendy buses here as well. Yeah, the armpits are slightly damp, but they're not like disgusting and embarrassing, so that's good. That's the thing I was scared about. My armpits would just be like really like massive wet patches. It's not very um, appetizing to see, to say the least. Yeah. 
L'Oreal, porque yo lo valgo, ok? Y tú lo vales, L'Oreal, because you're worth it. Ok? How you doing? I love it when, I love it when the wind blows, do you know what I mean? I just get my life wet. So yeah, I'm intending to um, reduce the twist even more because the thinner they are, the more they blow in the wind. How you doing, man? Okay? Right. And um, yeah, I need to like, I've got two more journeys left on my, um, my bus card. And then once I like use those, I can convert it to a Metro card. Because unfortunately the card that I have, um, it's on the old system. So, there's a new card now called Suma, and you can um, buy 10 journeys and you can use it on the bus and the metro and the tram. But my card, I bought it before they changed the system. So I need to use the two final journeys of the bus and then afterwards I can convert it to the Suma. Okay. So yeah, keep up with the times and make traveling around the city more um, convenient, okay? So yeah, how you doing? And the 10 journeys in zone A, it only costs 8 euros. So it's really good. I think it was a bit more expensive before, I don't remember. So yeah. Let's have a little look. This is a bank here. Kaisha Otinian Deng. I think that's like an insurance company, I think. Allianz. There's like an underpass here, Hanyuzawa. And this is where the uh, the library starts. Okay. Oh yeah, anyone who remembers, I filmed here once and um, there were some gypsies fighting in the garden next to the um, library. But I haven't seen or experienced any more fights, so yeah. But yeah, there's normally people just hanging around here. It's like a mini oasis. You've got some old Roman ruins here. I'm not sure if they're authentic, but if they were authentic, you wouldn't be able to go up to them. How you dumb? So we've got some fake Roman ruins. Some skater boys. Is it Avril Lavigne? Yeah. I've only got some like potato chips in my bag and like some like boiled like fruit flavored sweets. So I might try and find a coffee shop as use a coffee. Or I might get some fresh squash, you know. Yeah, so the library is actually over there. So let's do a little bit of, um, you know, filming in the ruins. Oh, it's so windy. Oh my God, what can you do? Long hair, long hair, don't care. Oh, it's so windy. Oh, I need a hairband. Oh, even the dogs are complaining it's too windy. Oh, my hairband is on my wrist, but I'm too lazy to take off and tie my hair up. Oh, it's so windy. Oh, what can you do? What can you do? Oh my god. It's so windy. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, just look at this, it's amazing, you know. Ancient Rome, my dear. Ancient Rome, you know what I mean? Ancient Greece. Oh. So crazy, oh god, what can you do with me? You can't take me anywhere. Look at these palm trees, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm so crazy, you can't take me anywhere. Oh, I haven't sang any, I was meant to sing when, 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 when I got to the, um, the other place. What was I gonna sing again? Oh, I don't remember. Usually I sing Jigglypuff, I sing The Sound of Music, the first song, you know, the opening song. Oh yeah, the snowman song, although it's not Christmas. And um, there was another song, but I just forgot now. Oh well. Yeah. So although we're, like, we're, we're next to like a main road here, it's still kind of tranquil, do you know what I mean? You know, the, uh, what do you call it? The library gardens. Yeah. Okay, my arm's starting to hurt now. How you doing? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to go to that place. Maybe I'll go to a different place, because that other place is really far. It's like 40 minutes on the train. So... How you doing?
I just arrived to um, Villanueva de Castellón and um, the temperature has jumped like 10 degrees. It's now 35 degrees here. When I was in the center, it was like 28 degrees. So it is like even hotter here. I can't believe it. So literally, like I'm like quite south from the city. It took an hour and 20 minutes to get here. I didn't realize like how far it was. It's taken me an hour and 20 minutes to get here. Okay. And it's hotter as well. I'm really close to a place called Shativa, but it's not that close. You can't walk. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to walk around. I'm going to look for the Mercadona supermarket so I can buy a cheap drink and have a wee wee. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so this is a nice building here. Is that the gay pride flag? How you doing? Um, is this the town hall? Normally it would say, oh yeah, Ayuntamien. So this is the town hall. They've even got a, um, a thermometer out there. Oh, ciao, but I don't think it's working. I can't see any uh, mercury in there. Oh my God, it's so hot. It's 35 degrees centigrade. Yeah, so it's 20 past six. Um, technically, the siesta is over. You know, the siesta normally ends at like five o'clock, around five. Um, but it is really hot. It's 35 centigrade. Um, there is no one on the street. I just saw a group of kids near the town hall square. And that's it. So I think I'm going to be close to the supermarkets really soon. This cafe is closed, this tapas restaurant is closed. I like this building, this is amazing. This building reminds me of um, the type of design and colors you would see in the place called Port Supplier. Yeah, it's hella dead around here, oh my God. The stop before this place, um, it looks quite built up as well, but I was like, let me just get off at the last stop because that was the whole point of getting this train. Um, I already saw a few Moroccan people getting on the train. So that's another trend I've noticed. When you, when you go to the far ends of the metro, there's like hella amounts of North Africans. <laughs> it is dead, dead, dead. Gosh. So yeah, an hour and 20 minutes to get here from the centre. Talk about going out of ends, as we say, ends, you know, ends. So at the moment, um, this far, far place, an hour and 20 minutes from the centre, um, is very, very built up and developed. So it's not a village, village per se, although everyone would call it a village because it's far out of the city. Um, and the people who live here, they don't class it as Valencia, they just class it as a village out of the city. Um, so it's, it's giving me like Liria vibes, like the place called Liria, or Liria, as they say. Um, it's giving me the same vibes. Um, so the, the place is called Villa Nueva de Castellón. So I don't know if there's a Castillo. <laughs> I don't know if the name is re related to Castillo, which is castle. I don't know if they have a castle here. I don't know what this place is. Is that like an old school or something? Excelencia Europa Colegio Santo Domingo. Okay, so this is a this is a college called Santo Domingo. I don't know if they have a, like a castle here. Um, yeah. So it kind of reminds me of Liria a little bit, but it's just like super, super dead. I don't know if you can see some hills there over here yonder. There's some more hills there. It is so dead. Oh my God. But yeah, it's just amazing. It's incredible that I literally, I literally took the Metro for an hour and 20 minutes to get here. So how you doing? Honey. Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Toto, we're not in Kansas anymore. Toto. Chat. 
the wild wild west here we go into the wild wild west let's go let's go straight to the wild wild west let's take it straight the wild wild west do you know what I mean oh dear honey I am in the sticks as we say the outback what the deep south the dirty the dirty south honey God. Okay, so I found Mercadona. I'm just gonna buy a drink, go to the toilet, and then I'm just gonna walk around for five more minutes, maybe. And then I'm just gonna go back to the train station because because when you go to the really really far places, like the metro is like one metro every half an hour, and then it takes an hour and twenty minutes to get back to the centre. You know, and someone said that um, they might be able to meet me around eight p.m. because they finish work at seven. So I want to try and get back to centre by eight. You know what I mean? And I don't, it's just incredible, like, I just, I was on the train for an hour and 20 minutes and it's gone up 10 degrees centigrade, like 10 degrees hotter. It's incredible, like, I'm actually, like, shocked and I'm just, like, flabbergasted. So, yeah, honey, and it's only the beginning of June, wait until we get to August, what? Oh my god, guys, if I was an alcoholic, like, or, you know, maybe I was going, like, you know, on a picnic, that's a good excuse. You could just buy these like micro cartons um, of like wine, like white wine. So <laughs> tempting, oh my God. Or you could buy little cartons of red wine. I've never seen that before in my life. And I just learned the other day that these type of packaging, they're called brick, something brick. I had no idea, I just thought they were carton. And someone was bitching about recycling, like, oh, this isn't carton. This, this is brick, something brick, blah, 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 blah. You know, it needs to go in the plastic thing. I was like, okay, calm down. Do you know what I mean? Anyway. So yeah, I'm going to go and find some apple juice, like the children's, okay? <laughs> so guys, it happened again. Um, I just bought my little, my children's six pack of juice. Um, I was waiting in the queue and lots of people um, had their massive, like, you know, trolleys of food and a man he, um, he did this to me and said, pasa, pasa, and he, he, just, he just said, basically, go in front. So a random man, um, middle-aged guy, white guy, he just let me cut in front of the queue because I only had one thing. And then um, he said that he was waiting to make eye contact with me so that he could, like, let me go in front. And I was just like, oh, thank you so much. I said, you're so kind. And then um, he said, you know, sometimes people won't do that for you and, and sometimes people will. And I said, well, you're right, because actually... Um, I'm on. A t I'm doing a tour of all the small villages around the outside of the city, and um, Loria. And um, I said every time I've gone to a small village outside the city, people have always let me just cut in front. And I said it's a really good. I said it's una buena pinta, like it's a good view or a good good impression. Yes, yeah, a good impression um, of the villages. Do you know what I mean? So you know people letting the black boy with dreadlocks cut in front in the queue in, in the supermarket you know what I mean very nice so anyway um I don't think there's much to see here really this is a nice building I don't know what that is though so I'm just looking at this building I don't know what it is and I'm um, actually the girl some young girl she must have been 18 19 she said um bona vespera and that's actually Valencian for good afternoon. And then I was like, that's the first time I've actually heard someone say that, um, like ever in the shop. So definitely like when you're like far out, they definitely do address you in Valencian first, not Castilian Spanish. And I was just like, buenas tardes. <laughs> you know, so the normal way, how you doing? And I was gonna like um, entertain her more and I was going to say to her, well, you know, maybe I should start learning Valencian, you know. <laughs> but then I just didn't bother. I just um, kept speaking to the man. How you doing, So, yeah. Buena vespera. Good afternoon in Valencian. I just bought like a six pack of kids tropical juice. I think it's got pineapple, mango and apple. How you doing, so I checked the map, I, I went on to Google Maps and I checked um, like attractions and the, the closest attraction allegedly is in another town called Shattiva. 
and um, you can't walk to Shakti Bhai. You need to at least get like a coach or a train. <laughs> so, yeah, Castellón, well, Nueva Villa de Castellón, por supuesto. Allegedly, there's no attractions here. But you know, it's nice to come here and explore, and it's nice to have a positive interaction, although I didn't record it, but you know, yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's see where we go next. Where is Chameleon San Diego? Chameleon San Diego! Chameleon San Diego, where in Spain can he be? Shall I go down there? Chameleon San Diego. For information, they have a supermarket here called Economy Cash. And um, I've been in there, and to be honest, the prices aren't that much cheaper than the other uh, supermarkets. The price is basically the same. I mean, I think they sell like slightly different stuff, but um, yeah, don't be fooled because it ain't that much more economy than the other regular one of the mill supermarkets. Mercadona, Consume, Dia, Massi Mass, all the prices are basically the same. And sometimes when you go in there, you will see multiple th things like in the same store like there's so many like i love pizzas and sometimes i see the same pizzas being sold in like four or five places honey they got one factory producing everything for spain how you doing man anyway yeah so um as i was saying before <sighs> it's a nice place but i don't Uh, it's a nice place, but I don't know, I'm not really getting that vibe that I want to live here. Yeah, the only main, the reason why I started recording again right now is because you can see the hills very close by. Um, and you know me, I love hills, you know, I love hills and forests and, and rivers and, you know. Cascadas and you know waterfalls. I've never seen a waterfall in real life, but how you doing? This is a nice little bit down here So if you look down there, you can see some hills Okay, if you look over here, you can see some hills so um, Maybe for me The main attraction the main benefit if I lived here Would be that I'm like so close to hills and it's literally like the sound of music is literally at your backyard. Yeah. So um, if you wanted to have the hills on your backyard, I think here would be really good. And the previous stop to this station, I can't remember what it was. I think it was called, I think it was called like Colette or something like that. Um, it looks really good there as well. I mean, it's just one stop away, so it's practically the same area. Hi, Yudzoma. So, I mean, this is a really good back backyard view. Um, yeah, but, you know, be warned, it's an hour and 20 minutes to get to the centre, and that's where the, the airport is, if you need to fly. <sighs> I mean, I don't know if there's, an, there's a mini... There might be a mini airport in Shativa. Um, you know, I don't know, but... See, so, yeah, guys, I don't know, like, you know me, I'm spiritual, you know. But um, it's nice that you can see, like, you know, there's some nature there. You can see the hills. There's probably some easy way to get to the hills, but I don't know. Like, for me, as a spiritual person, there's something missing in the air. Like, um, and it's nothing to do with, oh, it's quiet, there's no one out, because this is Spain, it's always like that. You know, on the weekends, especially, like, you know, early afternoon, it's always dead. But there's a something, there's something in the air missing, like the spirits, like the ancestors. They're not giving me the green light, like, you know, Beyonce, green light. <laughs> the ancestors aren't giving me the green light for this to be like a possible place to live. Like, they're not giving me the signal. Like when I went to Peterang, like I had a, a green signal. When I went to Liria, like Liria, I had a green signal, even Torrent. So after going to Betera and Lidia, Torrent is like number three, you know, I think Lydia was my favorite, number one. Lydia, then Betera, then Torrent. But this place, I don't know. 
there's, I don't know, something's missing in the air. The ancestors really aren't talking to me about this place, so. <laughs> <sighs> it's nice, it's nice. I mean, it's just, it's just nice. That's it, it's just nice. Do you know what I mean? So, oh well, can't win it all, can you? So I'm going to end it now. The train station's literally to the right. I hope the train comes in five minutes, not half an hour. Okay? Because can't anybody get tamped there. Okay.